Okay, uh, me being the smarter pants that I am, I forgot to turn on my audio for day one. Um, basically, as you can see from my reaction, uh, it looks like gibberish, which it basically is. This entire um, kind of 30 day challenge thing is based on coding a language that was made in Japan and although it's all in English, it's it was only made that way because I have an English copy of the game. Um, the reason I bring up the fact that it was made in Japan is because uh, they made a completely different um, scripting language than anything else like Java, C Sharp, etc. So yeah, um, I actually learned how to do some stuff in the end, so we'll talk about that when we get there. But basically day one was just reading some of it and trying to understand it and that was that i actually got some of it down for the most part but it's still it was still kind of gibberish the good thing about yesterday was that we actually made progress progress which was to edit the code and actually have it have an effect on the game that's a start today uh we're gonna look at this stuff. Um, I don't know how successful I'll be. These are this is literally thousands of lines of code, but I'm gonna try to understand this stuff because this is uh c like this is commands. I'm gonna try to understand what's happening in this stuff maybe, and this might help me have an understanding later uh, when we look at dark script. Um, okay. Okay. This, these two make sense. I don't know what, I don't know what unknown one, two, three, and four are. I don't know what format string that means. I don't know that for any of these. Increment, yes, kind of. I kind of get what that means. I don't know what the number for type correlates to. All I know is this part. This makes sense to me and this makes sense to me, okay? I don't know what, I don't know what index means. This makes sense. Target entity ID. I know what that is. I understand minimum and maximum. They're like values. So what this is testing is this is testing if the character's HP value, as it says, is zero. Because it can't be, z the lowest it could be is zero and the max could be zero. So if it's zero and there's no increments, then something happens and it's it's a condition so due to this something else happens that's just basically what this is saying i don't know how to use that yet um but we'll figure that out someday okay so in day three basically what i did is i went into dark script and i found a command that was looking for a specific item and that item um is something I was looking for purposefully um, because in said area there are two items that you obtain that are let's just say like key items there's actually three it could have been the third now that I think about it anyways you get one of these items and the game registers it etc so in this video I've noticed that and or on this day I noticed that and so I ended up going into a different program to go and actually find um, whatever you know that item actually was based on its ID, and that's what we're going to be doing on day three. So that's kind of like the intro explanation, so you guys understand what's happening. Okay. Um, I found it. Holy crap, I am a legend. Um, 
2102. It doesn't exist. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Day three. We didn't make too much progress. I'm gonna stop here. <sighs> because I have an idea and it might work and I wanna try it on day four. I'm just kinda worn out. So uh, yeah, that's how that went. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. I did do a day four, however, it was very bland and there were a lot of things that weren't worth showing, so I just decided to entirely kind of scrap it and just continue day five. So, yeah, sorry about that. I need to get something to work. <laughs> this is also me from the future. I've had a couple of these vo voiceovers, but basically, Day five, and I'm so excited about this, but day five is when stuff actually started happening. Uh, this is the first day where we actually get um, some code to, we actually add in our own, um, I guess, lines of code, and they actually end up working. They don't work the intended way I wanted them to, but I fully understood why they were working the way they were, and um, we actually got help from a guy in the little, I guess you'd call it Dark Souls 3 community thing where there are a bunch of other modder people and I was talking to him for a while about stuff, getting some of his input, some help and um, we got stuff to work so yeah, that's what this, that's what day 5 is huge success and I'm excited to see um, how we can go from here given that in just 5 days we've managed well, just, I say just five days. It's been more about an hour and a half, maybe, of pure working on this stuff that I've just, I took out a lot of footage because it's just me literally just sitting and staring at a screen and just kind of thinking about what I want to do. But anyways, what I'm doing right now is I'm going back to the original strategy, which is to just try to find something in the command list command list to hopefully make sense of and use so that's what day five is and we were successful so yeah oh oh if i can get that to work wow that would be um that would be something okay Let's try, I mean, let's try it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open this one because this is, this has to be the easiest one. It has to be. There's no way it's not. Look how short it is. I think we can input a piece of code. I think we can do it. I, I'm gonna do it, 100%. Yes, we're, we're gonna do it. Today's the day. I need to find Yapt. This is the breakthrough day where we actually input a line of code that works. If we can do this, oh man, we are legends. Okay, I need to go to SP effect param. Oh my god, let's go. We found it. Edit important names. Yes. Dude, I think I can do this. Okay, start talking now, homie. Um, okay. Um, uh, hold on. How should I say this? I'm doing dark script stuff right now. Oh god, okay. And literally, I have a really good idea that I want to do I just and it's probably super easy I just don't know how to do it so there's a command called set SP effect it's very easy to use right and yeah. and what I want to do is I want to give soul of cinder like five SP effects and they're just on him permanently okay 
So if I go like here, can you um? Okay, real quick. Can you see let's my screen? Back up, let's back up one second, homie. Yeah. Because I was gonna give an NPC special effects permanently. I would just add it to his NPC per ambient. Yeah. No, no, one hundred percent. I would do the same thing, but I'm doing I'm doing like um this project for English, whatever, and I, I want to do it through dark script. So you look like a coding nerd in front of all your colleagues and look like a pen. Yeah. Okay, well, I've never even done that before, so I think we might have to work on this together. <laughs> yeah, it can't be that bad. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, like, I know how to make the event initialize. That's super easy, right? So you have... You have the initiate script at the top with your new I'll customer do that right ID. Now. I'll do that right now. Okay, so you didn't do that yet. Well, I mean, it takes two seconds. All right, so do that. Do the initiate. Give it a new ID. Put it at the bottom of it. Yeah, I just give it any event ID I freaking want, right? Um, just go in order. So, like, look at the very last event ID oh, and just I got do the you. next one. Yeah, 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 just, yeah, yeah. Just to make it look nice for your event scripting. You don't want to have an ID that comes up 40,000 value. You know? Yeah, okay. Sure, sure thing, sure thing. Um, uh, okay, that's done. I initialized a new event. Cool. Cool thing, bro. Okay. So now you know that you're just going to want to go to your event script and copy... Copy any event actually, the top row of the script, and well, then you just make put it... your custom ID to replace oh, true, it. True, true. Script. true that, true that. Um, so there's an event that has default function. Do I like need those to I don't know what that is. Yeah, another. Okay. <laughs> I don't know that script, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, so basically, um, we went with the rest of the coding i put in the new sp effect command and what you're going to see next is the final outcome which um based on my reaction you can probably tell i was very excited about so um yeah after you know seeing the reaction i will do the whole journal thing where i actually talk about uh and answer the questions on a classroom so yeah <laughs> Well, I'm dead. For a mm. Oh my god, holy. <laughs> this solo cinder has dummy points for his sword? <laughs> oh, what is this? Alright, so the solo cinder has dummy points that literally go out. 50 feet past his body. Oh my god, dude. Did it work? It worked, but guess for who? Me. Oh, well yeah, you never put the Soul Center's entity ID. You looked at his 10,000, you monkey. <laughs> what? You I thought that think... was the Soul Center's ID. No, man, the entity ID of uh, 10,000 is always new. Dude, I, I look so cool, that, though. I, lo I, I look so cool, and we, this is the first thing I've ever done in event scripting, so Pog. Oh, Today, good. we actually did manage to get um, those effects to get on the character, which was unintended, but we did it. And that's the first um, a, a couple lines of code that we've actually implemented into the game to have work, and we you know, edit them a little bit, but yeah, I'm happy about that. So day five of this little 30 day challenge thing was pretty much a success in my opinion. And we're going to keep on going try to get more stuff done, uh, experiment more with dark script, etc. So yeah. Okay. So this is going to be me, um, talking about the final result of what I got, uh, which you just saw and, um, hopefully doing a quick reflection here. And I hope that this little video here counts as that. It says it can be online, so um, so I guess I'll do that. And I can just it's, it also says question and answer, which is perfect. So I'll just do that. Uh, first week of challenge. Write about your experiences. Blah blah. What exactly do you become new to? Oh, 
Um, first thing I did, um, the first thing I did was I looked at, I just started reading code. Because once, if you understand the code and you can read the code, then you can manipulate it. If you can't read it, you're not going to likely be able to manipulate it. Um, on day five, I picked a map that was specifically, or I picked a section of code that was specifically going to be easier for me to understand because I, um, I just knew it based on the game that would be under, easier to understand. Um, and I've kind of found success that way. I also, um, I also looked at commands for Darkscript and that helped me get that SP effect command, which I put to use. So um, those were like a couple of things um, that I did to kind of start getting into it. And within five days, we made huge progress. So that's great. Um, a big challenge was, a big challenge was kind of, I guess, the biggest challenge was making a completely custom line of code um, to put into the game. And I did, I think, I did like four custom lines of code at near the end, so that was great. Um, but that was definitely the hardest part because you have to understand the map and the, the section of code you're writing in and the events that are happening so that you can write code that makes sense for that place, which I did. Um, another challenge was knowing what command to use, because uh, when we were looking at the commands list, it was obviously very um, hard to understand, etc. Um, oh, biggest achievement was um, biggest achievement was actually getting new lines of code into the code of the game that actually work so that was um that was pretty awesome to do based on my reaction you could probably tell that i was pretty excited um the big difference was that i learned a lot so far and i feel as if it'll be easier for me to continue and make cool stuff in the future uh, and we'll be experimenting with that uh, later on, day six and up, I guess. So yeah, that's the reflection. I just answer those questions, I guess. And I hope this counts <laughs> as my journal thing. So yeah, um, overall we did pretty dang good if you ask me.